just practice how to remove, how to do revolve, and then how to clean the motherboard. And then just practice, practice, practice. Welcome to another video. My name is Edgar. If you are the first time here in my YouTube channel, just uh, subscribe and leave a comment, okay? I'm a technician with uh, more than 15 years of experience. I also travel in a lot of countries countries and i do a teaching i have my youtube channeling spanish for so many years but this year i say okay i'm going to start teaching this kind of repair i'm going to teach you a lot of stuff but in english so sorry for my bad english i'm going to try to do my best to explain everything okay so this is the third video in the last two videos we learn how to remove circuits how to do repel and circuits okay and now we had to learn how to clean the motherboard to put it back uh, circuits okay so this is not like hard but you had to uh, be careful because for example if we if we're going to clean this uh, this motherboard right here okay we're going to clean this uh, this motherboard so you have a capacitors and some resistors around the uh, the area so you have to be careful that don't damage the capacitor or don't apply too much heat to remove for example some uh, resistors because later you can have another problems and then uh, sometimes it's an easy repair but if you don't have a good technique we damage a lot of stuff okay so the first step to do um to do this this clean, we're going to use um, 138 solder pasta. We, we're going to apply this solder pasta because it's easy to remove. So we are, when we are using uh, the wick, okay? So it's going to be easy to remove the old solder pasta, okay? So I'm going to apply just a little bit, okay? So I'm going to, this is 138, okay? Remember that. All the tools and the uh, and the things that I always use in my videos, I'm going to leave the uh, links on the description, okay? So see, I just apply a little bit. I'm going to clean my, um, my tweezer and I'm going to apply a little bit of flux, okay? Remember that I use WSIP, WSIP flux, okay? This one right here, okay? Okay, so I'm going to bring my uh, iron with one, no, with uh, 450, okay? That's okay. So I'm going to just try to apply 138 to all the pads, okay? You always have to um, move your motherboard. For example, if right now I'm using like this, I, I just turn, I, I'm just move the, uh, the motherboard and use it right here. And then... I move the motherboard and clean the other side, okay? See? Okay? Just like this. Okay. Edgar, what happened with this pads that come out from the motherboard? Don't worry, because sometimes these kind of pads are without connection. So that's one thing that we're going to learn in some uh, later videos, okay? So I'm going to apply some flux, some uh, alcohol, and I'm going to clean all the area, okay? Okay, but that's not clean, I know, because uh, we had to do one more thing, okay? The one more thing, Job says, okay, we're going to apply some um, flux, and then I'm going to bring this uh, solder wick. I'm going to leave the iron in 450 and see. I'm going to, oh, I'm going to clean the, the um, tip of the iron, and I'm going to just press without too much press and just do it like this see easy i'm going to do it right here see easy. and then i'm going to move my motherboard just to uh be more comfortable to clean this area without damage anything and i'm going to just clean see i'm going to do right here and i'm going to clean and then i'm going to move my motherboard and then i'm going to do it like this, like this, and the next is just like this, see, easy, okay, so right now we have to use some alcohol to clean the area, 
okay? That's why I, I like this uh, flux because uh, it's uh, easy to clean. Okay, so I'm going to apply uh, alcohol and then use some uh, air just to remove the alcohol. See? Okay, see how perfect is this motherboard and this motherboard is ready just to uh, put it back in a circuit. What happened with these pads right here? Sometimes the motherboards and the pads come with uh, no connections pads, so we're going to learn this one in some next videos, okay? So just practice, remember, I'm with uh, 15 years of experience doing this, so that's why it looks sometimes like uh, easy, but you have to practice, okay? So just practice how to remove, how to do revolve, and then how to clean the motherboard. And, and then just practice, 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 because later we're going to learn how, do you, how to use our tools, for example, the, the iron, the heat station, the multimeter, and we had to learn schematics, components, so a lot of things, okay? So we're going to start step by step, and then we have to fix some phones in front of you, okay? See you next time. Hasta la vista. Adios.